the Euromobil Profila T660EB, a semi-integrated under 7.99 meters with large single beds at the rear in the rear and a longitudinal kitchen on the camping side. I'm Lisa Springer from Mimobil and in this video we'll examine the floor plan. Start in seating area, vehicle has comfortable corner seating group at front, standard with two ISO fixed seats, fresh water tank with 140 litres hidden under seating group. If a third person is riding along, they are probably sitting here. For the fourth person sitting here, we need to remove the cushion on the side and also the seat cushion so that the feet can touch the floor. The vehicle is based on Fiat and in model year 2024 we always have the new furniture decor Chalet Rustico. Nice and bright. We observe the new straight flaps which are monochrome with the light cover and here we can appreciate the beautiful light wood. Always offset in matte black, the reading lamps and what we also have in the vehicle is a wonderful place for a large 32 inch television here in the back positioned behind the headrests. Yes, unlike the regular exits group, we do not have a spacious individual seat in this location, but rather a more narrow one. Due to single beds and longitudinal kitchen at the back, the vehicle loses length, but it still serves its purpose. If you want to put on shoes and a jacket at the entrance for a short time, that's completely sufficient. Important note here, you can still order a conversion bed. The table will be lowered, it's very narrow in the foot area, so only suitable for one person. Due to the layout, a drop-down bed is not possible in the vehicle's entrance door location. Yes, we have plenty of light here in the interior. On one hand, through the sunroof, part of the Mondial package. Installed permanently, double glazed, not openable, but as I mentioned, it brings ample brightness into the vehicle. And in case the sun becomes too intense, you have the option to close the blackout curtain here. To let in fresh air, you can open the hacky window above the table, which is really great is additionally a component of the Mondial package and offers a pleasant breeze inside the vehicle. Especially with 6 and 60 EB, the longitudinal kitchen is one thing, but also that we really have a really nice wide aisle here. We can pass each other here without any problems and we also have sufficient space to stand behind when we pull out the drawers down here. Regarding the kitchen itself, a galley kitchen always tends to have little counter space but we can enlarge them here on the side and the table is not so far away either if we have to move something there. In the kitchen, as always, we have a big wall cabinet. When I open the flap, the lamb here also turns on so you can see what's inside the closet. It is nicely divided so you can really fit a lot in there. Down here at the kitchen surface, the light in the kitchen provides beautiful brightness with longitudinal kitchens, there is always a tendency to have little work surface available so we can expand it here once and it wouldn't be far to the table if you have to outsource a bit there. Located on the kitchen counter, we have a three burner gas stove and adjacent to it, there is a large sink providing ample space for cooking and cleaning. Good thing about Eura is that we can always rotate the faucet, the outlet in an upward direction. That means it doesn't drip during the ride Otherwise, there would be unsightly water stains on the glass cover. Below the kitchen, we have a wealth of storage space with drawers situated throughout. The lighting from above always illuminates the drawers below. This is a completely normal occurrence that happens consistently. Also typical. Perhaps just briefly once again about the arguments that speak in favor of opting for a longitudinal kitchen design. In most vehicles, corner kitchens are installed. The advantage of the longitudinal kitchen is that it always sits on the camping side. It is more communicative. You can talk to people outside and give something away more easily. The second advantage is that if the camping kitchen is located here, the bathroom has to slide to the other side. Means we have toilet and possible awning not on the camping side, but on the driver's side. And the third advantage, as we can see here wonderfully, is a clear line of sight and simply a nice wide aisle. We have a large refrigerator in the vehicle with a cooling volume of 122 liters and a freezer compartment where an additional 15 liters can fit. 
Eura installs absorber refrigerators that independently choose their energy source, can choose between gas, battery and electricity. Above the fridge, we also have a spacious, big and most importantly, deep compartment. You can store large, bulky items in that space. Located underneath the refrigerator, there is a small secret compartment. Indeed, the 660EB is the sole vehicle at Eura that has the privilege of possessing such a beautifully large extension. Wonderful for bottles and so on, nicely stored behind the seating area. If you order the Mondial package with you, you always have a roof fan sitting in the middle window of the vehicle. You can position it from inside out and outside in, ensuring proper air exchange in the right direction, which is its beauty. Another factor that ensures a good indoor climate in the Euromobile is the sky. It is covered with a venue floor, which has the ability to absorb moisture if the humidity in the vehicle is high. When it drops again, the moisture diffuses out, always ensuring a pleasant room climate. Whatever he does, he also insulates against sound and heat and generally creates a nice cozy atmosphere in the vehicle, which we already have anyway with our nice light furniture decor. A quality characteristic of Olga is that all vehicles are constructed with a double floor. Raised floor has three advantages. On the one hand, we have storage space, which is now enclosed all around here. If you load something here, no need to retrieve it from the double floor at the front later. Another storage space up front, valuable in the entrance area, e.g. for shoes. Second advantage, ground floor in the vehicle. We do not have any stairs. Please walk smoothly through the entire vehicle. The third advantage is winter resistance. It's actually the main benefit. The entire floor is double insulated. The heating pipes run in it. By the way, we have a Toma gas heater installed here as standard. And that feels like underfloor heating. So you can walk in here with stockings. The sewage tank is too big to fit into the double floor. It hangs under the vehicle but is standardly insulated and heated so it cannot freeze in winter. In the back of the rear, we have two single beds, same length, both 1.95 min off from the mattress. We still have a little space to the wall, so if you measure it with the measuring device, you get 1.98 minus. In general, it is very well ventilated in the sleeping area due to the ample headroom up to the ceiling on one side, as well as the standard Eura built-in frame windows on both sides. These windows are flush with the exterior and provide a tight seal, ensuring a pleasant airflow. We also always have a window here at the back above the bed, completely for setting up. Optionally, you can also install an air conditioning system here. Then take a look at the headboard. We have cabinets once more, also with illumination. Down here, consistently positioned below the cabinet strip, our indirect lighting is in operation at all times and provides a subtle glow. Same at front of seating area provides pleasant atmosphere. Practical side table here for books, glasses, phones, etc. Enhances ambiance with cozy feel. Above it, there is another USB socket and a shore power socket. And of course, light switches next to the bed, so we don't have to get up to turn off the light. Reading light is also included. It is very flexible, adjustable, and it is also equipped with a USB socket at the bottom. You have the ability to completely connect the single beds, even at the foot end. Simply pull out the board at this location and place the mattress on top of it. Then you cannot go up the stairs anymore, but we have to utilize the ladder. It is presently located in the rear of the garage. We can install both beds in the rear. Currently, the wardrobe is concealed beneath the bed. Nice view from above. Can open cupboard door here at front if don't want to set up beds in order to enjoy the view. In the back, we also have direct access to the garage if you want to get something out of there. On the other hand, same principle. Currently, the pillows are filled with down feathers. But here, no wardrobe for hanging, but there is the heater and we have space to lay things on top of it and also access from the side. With all your floor plans with single beds, we still have the option to set up the headboard. Just pull back, then like this, perhaps it could be quite pleasant to read in order to release it simply and completely. The initial value is high, then it gradually decreases and eventually goes back down to its original level, returning to the same value it had at the beginning. 
Lots of space in the shower here in the compact bathroom and also easy to convert with the sliding plastic doors. Thanks. The shower doors have already been reinstalled and are now back in their original position. What we still need to do. All you have to do is fold it over the sink and you're all set. We are back to normal operation. Large sink is located here and toilet is positioned over there on the opposite side. As a standard practice, we consistently provide a roof hatch for opening up in this area. Additionally, it is worth noting that we consistently offer a spacious storage space on the side. There is also an additional shore power socket located inside. Above the toilet, there is a very small compartment. Nice in model year 2024 and new is that we have all the control units here behind. Have remained hidden beneath a single flap. From the heating, once the control panel of the vehicle, and then we have a double USB socket here and we can charge our phone super conveniently right on the shelf. Position it in a location that is above the door frame. In the meantime, the Fiat also offers an optional adaptive cruise control system. The electric handbrake is now also available as an option to order with the Fiat package, allowing for easy rotation of the driver's seats and enhancing overall driving experience. Both options, previously only at Mercedes, now also at Fiat. New in 2024, convenient drive and disposal from driver's cab in the front. Available for Mercedes and Fiat models. We had an electric sewage valve for a period of time. Currently, the controls are located in the driver's cab. Theoretically, you don't even need to get out for that, for emptying simply here above a prox. Press for five seconds, then the valve opens. Then you can let go again. But it is important that the handbrake is applied and the ignition is turned on. Either close manually using the button here, or as soon as you continue driving, you have to release the handbrake, then the valve will close automatically again. The nice thing about single beds is that we always have a big garage in the back. Here now, 1.17 meters flap height and 85 centimeters width. So, electric bikes or regular bicycles fit in there in terms of height. As standard with yours, we always have two lashing rails. And here on the side, you can see the double floor once more. Vehicle floor above the running floor, 11 seam higher. The location where all the technology is stored. Here, as an illustration, is the water pump. We have a pressure pump as standard at Eurace, and we can also easily access the water filter, for example, to change it. Another quality feature of Eura is that Eura builds full GFK vehicles. GFK stands for Glass Fiber Reinforced Plastic. Both the walls, roof and floor are made of the materials, so it's really all around. And that has several advantages. Firstly, it is lightweight. Secondly, it is hailproof, resulting in lower insurance premiums. And thirdly, it is repair friendly. Another benefit of the material is that it can be fully glued. Here at Eura, now on the side in aluminum profiles. That means we have surface loads and not point loads. This results in Eura giving a 10-year leak guarantee on the vehicles. Yes, the Profiler T60EB from Eura has this capability. Very few special features. On one hand with spacious aisle. The pharmacy extract, the beautiful place for it. TV and the large single beds. At the back, it is a completely beautiful floor plan. If you want to see the vehicle live yourself, feel free to come to us, to Me Mobile, to our Completo exhibition. We have a permanent exhibition for all Euromobile and Carmen mobile floor plans. More detailed information about which floor plan will be available to us from when can be found on our Completo website, which is linked below. We'll gladly advise you in person on site. New at yours is also a floor plan based on Mercedes. The 676 EB is eliminated. As we see him here with beautiful large single beds at rear, special thing is he's one. Long kitchen campsite area. It is now only offered on a Fiat basis. At Mimobile, however, we still have models based on Mercedes Benz on site, both as young used vehicles from the rental fleet and as new vehicles. Before our actual credits roll, here are a few important notes. We are a German trader and have our videos translated by AI. We ourselves speak the languages German and English and have an employee who also speaks Italian. We have experience in exporting both within and outside the EU. 
We are located near Stuttgart. A direct S-Bahn train goes from Stuttgart airport to our place. Get off, walk for three minutes and you'll reach our station. Yes, and currently we would be highly pleased if we have managed to generate your interest and you would like to set up a meeting with us. You can find us directly on the B29 between Fellbach and Schorndorf, a 15-minute drive away from the Stuttgart Stadium. You can find all the vehicles not only online, but also all of them in our Completo exhibition on site. And Completo means all furniture, all furniture decors, all upholstery, all floor plans, in short, all yours, all Carmen, and all now new Rhone Kemper. The information about which vehicles are available on site, in what equipment and from when, can be found on our Completo website, which is also linked below. And then a very special specialty of Memobile is the sale of the large rental fleet at the end of the season and also during the season under the brand name Early Bird. The Early Bird catches the worm. Also, you can order a custom used car from us. He must be able to be delivered in time for the rental season so that he can be delivered at the end of the season. By the way, when it comes to renting, at Mimobile we not only sell the motorhome, but we also offer real service from start to finish. And first of all, let's take a look at Mama in the rental department. We possess more than 50 vehicles for rent, brand new models with a variety of layouts introduced every year. The chances are very good that you can rent your desired vehicle, which you are interested in buying from us first. The vehicles are all workshop. Here in our technology course, I will advise you on the topics of autonomy, lithium, inverters, solar and fuel cells. On the subject of multimedia, SAT, TV, navigation systems and mobile internet. Regarding plumbing, water treatment, pump tech, dry and separating toilets. Moreover, I suggest on chassis tech, load carriers, trailer hitch, ideally on display items in our exhibition. Now we continue to the workshop. Moment, there's one more quick stop. Our workshop is located at our new location in Bräuningsweiler. Build everything you have chosen in Björn's technology course. We'd be glad to assist. We not only do that, but also everything else that comes up around the motorhome will be fixed with us. We offer this service not only for Euro and Karman, but also for all other brands. Yes, that was the presentation in Fast Forward. You can find detailed information about Mimobile in our kickoff video 2024. Link below in the description.